Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from today's LPL 2024 Spring Split matchup. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Strike and particularly with a couple of points into Q um, is going to be a oh, really big no. threat. If he doesn't hop oh, over no. into them at level oh, 1. no. Rookie's going to be flashing here very soon. WE trying to chase him down. Going to hold it though. The slow comes Good through. Discipline. Good discipline from Rookie, as would the GOAT. And uh, he does early damage. If you make mistakes on now, you do die. And uh, I wonder if making Speaking a of mistakes, mistake on the uh, <laughs> gonna burn the heal there. Really, Ruffy gets it? No! Duo gets the kill as they walk away. <laughs> Gamer moment. Prince is scratching his head a little bit as he comes back to lane. Now we have a scuffle around the dragon pit here. Oh, Hung... Gothic takes the yeah, crab as well? Yeah, I was just about to say. And now Hung... He's in trouble. Here comes Woe over the top, and Fotic claims the kill. Oh, the dragon, at least half health here for Aki. Hung not going to go that way. I don't think he can uh, walk in without flash. It's too risky. Another W from that Rakan would seal his. Not going to let him do it so easily. Does get one of them. Going to have well, to back out here as Woe gets Rookie's seen. Rookie's not here and doesn't have teleport. They don't really want to be here. They both uh, are going to take one, and uh, we'll see. Actually, I think he got the okay. second one, too. But uh, it is going to oh, be two for one. Pretty big one. He hitting that double spike there, but it's going to take time. And that's something that WE can take advantage of. Speaking of taking advantage of something, NIP take advantage of the deficit in bot lane, and Iwandi's death hits a second note, as now it's going to be Prince actually doing some work, but not able to do it. If there was a ward in there or not. <laughs> I love that kind of mind game, going to play his personalities. <laughs> Is that a conversation you have with your coach? The guy, man, you just can't do that. <laughs> you, can't, oh, you can't have I mean, that. Well, I mean, there's, there's been a couple of times where that's come across in, in more traditional sports. There was one tennis rivalry, which I can't remember the names of the players involved. There was a guy that could guess the way that someone was gonna, uh, gonna serve because of the way that he would kind of like bite his tongue just as- There's another dragon coming up. It would be sole point for NIP. Would be, but this is uh, why it's quite important to track what Draw was doing on the bot side just there. Just to try and get some vision in. Luckily, he wasn't punished. Now, NIP using the Herald to secure themselves bot lane push. Again, they're just looking for different angles so they can get behind WE. WE have good defensive vision, though. Hung doesn't have flash, and it is punished. Fotik picking it up, and now the turret. Luckily, Wayward does take the top side of the map open, so the map is starting to open. We'll see what happens the next time we get one of yeah, uh, and the thing is, you still don't have the flash for a little while, and it feels like now that Maokai is going to be a point of concern. We were just about to hit Mininar again. Delayed. The Mininar comes through and punished immediately nice. is the rookie Zhuo combo. So much now from NIP, and how, what are the points of power going to look like for them? WE running out of the Mega Nar, so they'll have a little bit of something to work with. Prince is on his way over here, but the dragon already started. Nature's Grasp both ways coming across. It's looking like a cross weave. The Breath of Life comes through, but it's actually Fotik who got the dragon, and now we're pumping it up the damage. Prince is still trying to cook it here, but NIP have picked off crucial members, and now he gets oh, locked in. Three. He gets knocked up, and it's a bouncy house. Welcome as NIP take them one at a time. That's a big Emperor's Divide but you're divided in half, WE. Fuck in this mid lane, just shuffling in mid lane. Uh, minions where they can, but Rook and Fotic shred towers with or without grub buffs. They have just the one. WE, they kill towers better potentially, but they're just not going to have access to them. Wayward's mini Mega Nart looks like it's just running out. He can't make a play here either. It is just survival and wave clip, name of the game for WE. And Rookie making a full use of those wonderful ultis that you had. Wayward has Mega Nar right now. That's charging back up, and he's currently off a of vision. He had some great flanks in game one. He is going to find Draw oh. if he hops over here. Instead, he's found Aki <laughs> oh, as well. Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know if he wanted that one. He's going to try to run away this time. Aki does an immense amount of damage here, and Rookie comes in too. He's going to connect, and Wayward has found himself caught out of WE here. He should be able to get through, though. Tankiness. Rookie goes in. The Breath of Life is utilized now. Prince all by his lonesome. Aki goes for the flash play. Prince over the wall, though, with his own flash. Elder Dragon is up and NIP are hunting the rest of WE and Hung is no more. Yeah, trees aren't exactly. It looks like the Baron will be the victory lap coming in. Try and force the way past some of this wave clear. Yes, Prince is getting towards some items, but they are paling in comparison to uh, the stats which NIP have between dragons, items, and of course the Elder 2 on top of that. And Wayward, oh. he is. Uh, oh my god! That's a lot of microcosm of the differential happening right now. 
and uh, as we see the elder dragon still alive still kicking still going it's trying to burn it down and there's the flap of the wing shanji has activated kashanji mode and that's gonna be a double kill there go ahead and start spamming that chat with all that good Kasante spam as he's going for another one he's got a third maybe a quadra oh it's gonna be taken by rookie rightfully so but the end is nigh and a game three is upon the horizon nightmare as nip take it to we i mean is that Kasante or is that exodia shanji obliterate clears the board we they will find themselves at a game three hard fought game one game two no such fight available there was no fight left to give they got one kill out of all of it yes they kept it close and maybe that doesn't speak of the story of the game but it was in ip all day long and that's gonna be these were some of the best highlights from today's lpl 2024 spring split matchup which moment was your favorite let me know in the comment section below this is op and i'll see you tomorrow take care